Welcome back, collective. I have another message for you. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for the righteous judgment that you have been calling, that you have been enforcing, that your holy angels have been watching over. <clears throat> We thank you so much, Lord, for bringing correction to your church, bringing correction to your people first, so that we are the example. We thank you, Father, for all that you do. Jesus, I plead your blood over this space and over the message that you have for us. I pray, Jesus, that you would move by the Holy Spirit, leading and guiding me in all truth, that every word, every Every thought, every encounter that we have with you would be mighty and divine, Father, in the name of Jesus. I cancel every assignment of the enemy and every word curse and witchcraft prayer, every bit of sorcery, hexes, or anything that anyone has done in a demonic spirit leading and guiding them to speak against myself or the collective or this platform. I rebuke those very words and those works and I call them null and void. I return them to the sender. In the name of Jesus, and I plead your blood, Jesus. Father, I pray that you would move mightily. <clears throat> In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hi, Collective. I always miss you when I don't see you or talk to you. I've been having a good weekend. I hope that you have too. Um, yeah, anyways, there's so many thoughts going through my mind, but whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So there's somebody that's really looking at you and this person feels very emotionally stirred concerning you. Um, this is someone that feels like you're a visionary. You speak your truth. Um, you could be an air sign. This is Libra. Libra Aquarius. Gem Libra Gemini Aquarius. Yeah. So you could be an air sign. You don't have to be. Um, you could be a water sign or fire sign. But they feel like you're a visionary. Your high standards and your patience, whatever it is that you have been working on, there could have been something that you have spoken and it just took quite some time for it to, you know, naturally evolve or for it to go through its process. But you're the type to really, um, you know, like you're going to finish what you've started. You're very elaborate. This person sees you as being very elaborate in the way that you plan things. And that's why we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So this is someone who feels like regardless of how much time something takes for you, you speak your truth. You speak a voice of a strong social change. Like you, there's something about you that's very, very creative and it's very re revolutionary is how this person feels. Now it's like whatever this hard work that you've been doing, um, you could be some form of public speaker. You could be, you know, like what I'm hearing too, you could be some form of lobbyist as well. There could be something that you have been advocating for. You have been using your voice, you know, to really speak um, on behalf of other people. Like you have this logical thinking, you know, like you have what this takes as far as like this intellectual speech. It's it's your moral standards. It's your fresh ideas. It's the way that you can think logically concerning situations. And you're capable of speaking amongst large groups. You're capable of speaking amongst teams. You could be some form of motivational speaker as well, where you might drop in to different places and speak some form of truth or motivation to them. Um, you know, something to increase the morale or the morale, you know, just like the energy or the synergy within a place. But regardless, it's like this person feels like your energy makes them want to be more emotionally aware and they feel very apologetic about something that they did with this connection that you guys have together. You could have had like um, an engagement, a marriage, you know, this is just some form of unity or partnership. But this is the partnership that you have that is, is very much equal in thoughts, wants, needs, expectations, you know, there's mutual attraction here. Um, each person is open to giving and receiving love in a certain way. This person feels like you are 
their soulmate. You know, like you bring balance to this person. They feel like you balance them. You balance the love on the inside of them. What I'm hearing too is um, this person could be a water sign. They don't have to be. It's, you know, they just could be in this very emotional, like they're tapping into um, the stronger sense of emotions. But what I'm hearing is this person could be someone that is now standing in this very emotionally aware and kind of apologetic energy where they want to be able to see things in a balanced way. They want to come from an open heart space and you're standing in a logical, um, kind of like inspirational truth speaking energy. But I'm hearing that typically you would be the one in this loving, this very emotionally aware and nurturing energy. But right now it's like you're in a different energy. This person was possibly the the one in this um, very large, logical kind of sharp um, tongue or, you know, just very, they could have been very kind of conformative in as far as like, no, these are the rules. This is how we have to do it. This is what we're supposed to do. <clears throat> Like this person could have felt, you know, they feel like they've spent so much time trying to stick to the rules that if this is a masculine energy, they feel like they pulled a feminine aspect out of themselves by really trying to stay so conforming and trying to stay so logical and, you know, like, no, this is what we're supposed to do, we're, you know, kind of thing. Like this person feels like they've been doing this for way too long and it's time for them to be in a more emotional headspace so that they can get this relationship back or they can get this back together together you know so just take it however it fits but this is what they feel they feel like you know they've stood in this space for so long they want to feel some type of emotions now because there's been a form of judgment called on this connection and they're literally surrendering to this this person feels like they had a poor you know they they poorly used their power or their influence or whatever it is that they were capable of in this connection or what they had power over in this connection <laughs> But ultimately, it's like they see you now standing in this energy where you're sticking with the plan. You're being very logical. You're standing in this energy, you know, and now it's been a really long time since you've shown this person any kind of love or compassion, you know, and they're thinking about that now, like, man, they know what it feels like now when somebody wants to just be very harsh and very sharp in their words and they don't have any love. They don't have any love to give. They're sticking to the plan. They got to do this and they got to talk this way and they got to say it like this. Like this person feels like now, like, dang it, you know, I want you to be able to love on me, but they have to pull the love out of themselves now because when you match them in this sharp energy, now they don't like the way that that feels because they feel like, okay, it's time that they got out of that. They've been doing that for too long. This is someone that wants to be more diplomatic in a way where they're saying, okay, I get what that feels like now when somebody withholds love from you or when somebody only has something smart to say every time you talk to them or when somebody is always trying to be some revolutionary in your life or create some type of social change, but it's on an individual level. It's just like, and you know, this person feels like they don't want to do that anymore. You know, like they, they felt that this was them having high standards or this is them having like, you know, being this thinker and, and really being able to like stand in this truth and like, okay, I have to do it like this. And I have to, you know, my life has to be like that. And my life's supposed to be like that. And when someone says this and I'm supposed to say that, like, they feel like they don't want to be in that anymore. They want to just let loose and let God, let the love flow freely. <clears throat> Like I said, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's all of this is moving this person because they feel like, you know, they remember you being grace-like, gra you know, graceful and not and not warlike. But they feel like now you're ready for war. You're ready to tango. It's just like, um, say that again. Yeah, let's talk about it. Like you're, you know, you're in a different space right now. You're not coming from this, this, this super lovey-dovey kind of heart space with this person. And... This person is really feeling like, how long is this supposed to last? How long are you supposed to be in this long drawn out energy? Like you are really sticking with this plan. You just felt like you're like, you're not going to be open to them or something like that. And they feel like you are sticking with that. This person wants to be more warm hearted towards you because they want this two of cups. They want this soulmate connection back. 
They feel like you could be irritated with them, but they're trying to stand in the confidence that they have, the confidence of, you know, the things that you've expressed to them. So like you could have really um, been emotionally expressive, like I said, in the past with this person. And now they're saying like, oh crap, I know what that feels like now when somebody wants to withhold emotions because you're withholding emotions from them. But what they're going to do is they're going to stand on the confidence that was built up. They're pulling this strength from the past based on the peer communication that you guys had together. They know that you're the type of person where you're going to speak this truth. You're going to speak from your heart. You've always been the same way. This is something that's just a true, you know, part of your character and your nature. And this is like, this person feels like, okay, they can definitely count on you always, you know, speaking your truth and being honest. So if they take what you said to them previously and they stand on that truth, they will have enough confidence to come towards you. And they're letting judgment hit this connection because they feel like there was something that they missed. They were not careful with how they use their power in this divine connection. They were trying to, they were turning the connection dark. The connection was going from being divinely guided to just very much karmically led. And this is how they feel. They feel like, okay, if you guys are supposed to be in some type of mutual love and understanding, if you guys are matching each other and you're mirroring energy, like you could have been married to this person, or there was just something about the partnership or the harmony or the balance that you guys had together. But regardless, you were a happy couple, whatever that looked like for you. You were a happy couple and it was just two of you involved. Now that judgment has hit, there are several people involved in this judgment right here. So it's like the connection. I was like, oh my gosh, are they dressed? <laughs> yes, they're dressed. Because <laughs> I have the lovers out here too. I just forgot. Okay, so the connection almost went toxic. You know what I mean? Because you were highly agitated with this person. If you're the feminine energy in this, you were highly agitated with this person. And that doesn't have to mean that male or female, it means a more receptive, more intuitive energy where you're allowing things to go with the flow. This person knows it. They want to reach out to you. Not only do they want to give you some form of loving expression, but they want to reach out and really touch you. They want some form of soft caress or hand holding or something. Because now the judgment has hit. It's like you went from having a happy partnership or a happy union, um, marriage, connection, you know, friendship or whatever this was. This is just high level where... The energy is so high level in this connection because you're soulmates. The, the way that you handle it will determine on whether or not you bring a toxic demonic energy into the connection or if you bring an angelically um, guided energy into the connection, you know, because both of you guys mirror and match each other. So it's like one person's feeling toxic. The other person's more than likely feeling toxic too. And you guys bring that energy together. You can bring something, you know, like... I hope that that makes sense, like what I'm saying. But this person is wanting to evaluate. And it's just like, there could be several people involved and in really kind of like assisting this person and releasing something or um, surrendering to a higher calling. There could be multiple people involved where there's now this powerful decision making and someone is really looking inward and they want to be careful with how they use their power in this connection because they understand that coming together with you creates a powerful union. This is a definitely a powerful, divinely guided connection this person feels like this judgment is hitting because you have stood in a very self um what is the like you know self self-accomplished very inspiring energy there's something that's happened it's like either this person abused this connection and they were judged for it and judgment hit and then you know like you had this um level up where you're standing in the single energy now it could be that the divine has intervened and separated this union for a time. And now you're standing in a more confident, take action kind of energy where you learn from your experiences and you've had to become your own hero in this. And what's happened out of it is you've learned to be in a space of self-sufficiency. You've learned to appreciate your blessings, to really nurture the things that are around you, to stay committed to yourself first before, you know, you go off and join anything with anybody else. It's like you're committed to your independence and whatever that looks like. You're committed to developing, you know, a safe space for yourself or um, accomplishing the, the different goals and, and things that you set out to do. And then I have the lovers. It's like 
this person feels like once you, the judgment hit on this connection and now this person is really kind of reflecting and seeing what really like went down or how things just kind of like you evolved in, in a way where you are just very, very happy, single and established. Now it's like they see, they, they feel like you were the perfect person for them. This was unconditional love. This was supposed to be the perfect partnership or the perfect union. It's like now that they see you completely un, undressed, so to speak, like naked and unashamed, it's like you're standing bare before this, this person or you stand bare in this energy and how you have had to work yourself and, and start from the bottom and work your own way up to some form of success or wealth or financial stability. And it's like, they feel like based on your passions and your life purpose, based on everything that they feel, the romance for you, the way that the divine has influenced this connection in so many ways, this person feels like they don't want to let this go. This would be the perfect union for them. This even increases the, the level of attraction that this person has for you. They feel like they, they have more attraction. Um more attraction for you now or something but you know what you're experiencing this victory and it's like this is being done openly this is being done publicly you know like there's something that you were hoping for previously there was something that you could have spoken on and you've just been patiently waiting and building you know like you spoke your truth at one point and you really stood stood on this and this person feels like you're going to be famous or you're going to experience some type of fame with this. They see you as a winner. They see you as having so many people wanting to protect and to support you. This person feels like a lot of the people that are standing around you, you know, that are, um, that are in your, um, sphere of inf sphere of influence now are not jealous. They're not competing with you. They're actually watching and, and protecting or something like that. This person feels like you have some type of secret, um, like you might have good news and you're keeping it a secret or like you've achieved something that's praiseworthy, but you're keeping it to yourself with the high priestess. You could have like some good news or something like that. But this person feels like you're not saying anything. You're just standing on your intuition with this. Like you're, you're not like going through a lot of conscious reasoning in regards to, I don't know what you're speaking on or this person feels um, like they want to send you a message or there's something that they want to do for you. They might have like a little gift for you. This person may be crushing on you now. Like they really admire something that you've done. This could really be awakening this inner child inside of this person where they want to like playfully apologize to you or do something silly to make you laugh. They just want to see you smile. They want to make you happy. They want to have romance with you. They want a new opportunity with you. It's like this person wants to be kind but they feel very much blocked in this they don't know if they can be kind with you or if you would accept them as an admirer or if you would um I don't know they feel like this would be like an unexpected surprise So they don't really know which way to go with this, but they feel like this is a new opportunity for love. This really is. This person is just seeing you differently. They want to race in and say something about this so bad that this person cannot stop seeing you from a different perspective. It's like if this person felt differently about you previously, this person has a whole new mindset about you and they feel like this is just going to continually just evolve, I guess. this mind that they have about you like um they could be trying to make a choice right now if they should even come towards you or if there's going to be a blockage like what that's going to look like this could be really challenging for this person because it's like you have put up some type of boundaries with them either you physically block this person from calling you or something happened where there was really no clear resolution here 
And it's just like, they feel like you are confident enough to really like, you don't want to see this. You don't want to hear this. Like, I don't know. This person might feel like you are stuck in the way that you think about this or you think about them, you don't want to deal with them, you don't want to see them, and they feel like there was some confusion here in regards to how you are seeing and viewing this person. They don't want you to be confused about, you know, how you make this choice in regards to them. They definitely see this as a setback. But like I said, this person has a new mind about you. Like this person doesn't feel, they don't feel the same way. And it's just like, they want you to change your mind. This person feels like if you could let go of the past way of thinking, they want to let go of the past way of thinking. They want to be in the space of enlightenment. Like I have Auntie and Moses. They feel like you saw them as wanting to block your destiny or maybe you would, um, I don't know, being in some type of opposing energy to you, but um, this person is like, they feel like they had a mindset problem, but their mind is continually to change daily, like this is like a daily thing, you could be dealing with a Virgo, you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with an Aries, um, they want to rush in and say something though. Like this person wants to really be rebellious about this because they can't stop thinking about it. It's like this person can't stop sitting in a space of contemplation. They are really, really bound right now. This really has this person in a difficult space. They don't want you to see them as like, um, Hmm. Oh, they don't want you to see them as somebody that's rigid and rebellious and that they'll just run in and say anything or do anything. They don't want you to see them like they feel like they're blocked like you have them blocked or you're energetically blocking this person you don't want to deal with them at all because you feel like this person doesn't have a changed mindset like you could they feel like you see them as somebody that's really rigid and that's stuck in their mind like this person could have a mindset problem or like an elementary mindset or there's something about the way that they think about things and they take action that really has them kind of like um feeling stuck and judged they feel very much judged by something that they said they could have just took this quick action to oppose you and to just really be you know warlike towards you they're starting to see the truth in this now too that that's something that they shouldn't have done because now that's how you feel about this person you could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius <clears throat> hmm. yeah they feel like you know this person feels very much stuck in their head number one because they feel judged they feel like you're difficult to get to and now they're in this prison of their thoughts and they feel very much uneasy about what the future looks like for your connection but at the same time this person feels like you've always been brave you've always had this individual level of creativity and this ability to inspire other people like this person is really impressed with your talents the way that you know how to create long-term success you're this long-term leader you know like you have this ability to have you know very strong um values and leadership just yeah this person is just really impressed with you right now they love the way that you take risks they love the way that you inspire people they don't want you you know they feel like you're like this magician this person doesn't want you to you know want to run away from them because you feel like this is a loud mouth rebellious <clears throat> kind of person but they feel like you take risks based on your passions. You want to express your passions. This could be someone who feels like you're very romantic as well. And then I got Moses again. I saw that when I split the deck. 
So, you know, like there's something that you're able to say that can lead people out of dark spaces, that can lead people out of oppressive spaces. And it's taken a really, really long time. It could have been something that you spoke and it took a long time for something to actually be released. You know what I mean? And it's just like during this time, waiting for this to be processed or waiting for the progression of this to kind of really take off. You could have come across as, you know, being in a space of lack or feel, you know, being left out, being abandoned, like you don't have anyone there for you, you know, during this process, it's like you could have really felt like you were either used, abandoned, or you were just in a dangerous situation, you know, things really being, the finger being pointed towards you, like you're a dangerous person or whatever, or this is how this person sees this. And this makes them feel sick. This makes them feel very, very bad. This could be giving them anxiety. This could be making them very anxious. Like, you know, they're spending a lot of time trying to figure out what the future is going to look like in this connection. And this really makes them want to be more emotionally aware. With short illness, heart and home, this person is feeling like you are what really moves this person and makes them feel safe. They want to be with you. They want to stay connected with you. They want to be in a healthy space with you. And the fact that they left you the way that they did. Jonah in the whale. <laughs> this person feels like the decisions that they made will continue to bring this connection into an impasse. Like, you know, there's always going to be the thought of going in the other direction because it's the way that something was handled. And then with this judgment here, Abraham and Isaac in the reverse, somebody feels like once this judgment hit, they lost this spiritual inheritance. They lost this spiritual protection, you know, like all of these abundant blessings, these irrevocable blessings. And I have Archangel Michael. This person feels like, you know, the divine had already spoken to this person about your character that you were very brave and inspiring and that you know like the divine had already talked to them about who you are and they chose to either ignore that or it's just a, something that they knew maybe they got a divine word they could have saw something in a dream or they just heard something intuitively and now they're seeing okay what they saw or what they heard what the angels had spoken to them has actually come to pass you are this rich or this um this rich guy or girl in this very healthy mental space emotionally you don't have to be monetarily rich at this moment but this is a part of your destiny so if it has not manifested in your life yet just keep on and just trust God because it's coming towards you collective you are meant to be in a very abundant space in in all aspects in Abraham and Sarah this person feels like they're supposed to grow old together with you you're supposed to be together you know this person feels like they already knew who you were the angelic had already spoken to this person about who you were to them that you were going to stand in this very strong enlightening um very dynamic power energy influencer energy they were already told that you were going to be a very high vibrational very beautiful very you know driven and you guys were supposed to be doing this together for the long term this person feels like you were, you guys are supposed to grow old together and now you're standing in this energy by yourself uh john the baptist clarifying the lovers this person feels like you know this connection maybe you said something to them about this and they thought that you were radical and crazy. You could have mentioned something to this person about being soulmates or about being, um, if this is a twin flame union, if you guys are involved in any of that craziness. But collective, this could be, you know, like this lover's connection. You could have really said something to this person and stood in this very bold and radical energy when you spoke this to them. This person could have either wanted to have you hung, they could have wanted to have your head, or it's like there's something that you could have said in regards to this connection that made someone, okay, so the story that I'm getting with John the Baptist, John the Baptist told, and I don't have all the names, so I'm encouraging you guys to read the Bible, read the stories, okay? John the Baptist told the king, 
was it Herodias? I don't remember his name, but the king could not have his brother's wife. And the brother's wife got mad. And so she told her daughter to go dance for the king and entice the king and go seduce the king. And then when he asks you, what is it that you want after you seduce him, after you get him, tell him that you want John the Baptist's head on a charger. And, you know, a charger is just like, you know, the big plates that you put your other plate inside, like big enough to hold a head. And when, um, maybe the wife was Herodias, you guys have to read the story and then remind me. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's how John the Baptist died. Boom. It was concerning a lover's connection. Literally. If there was a lover's connection. It wasn't his connection. So just take the story however it applies, but the woman that, you know, he had spoke a truth and somebody didn't like that. So they wanted his head. So they used someone to seduce the king and then the king had to keep his word. So he put John the Baptist, he killed John the Baptist, whatever. Um, not saying that anybody's going to do anything like that. And I reverse every single curse. If somebody wants to use their power and influence to have some little thirsty thought of a slut in making, go and seduce someone so that they can try and come for your head. I reverse every single curse right now in the name of Jesus. You will not be crucified. You will not be judged harshly or viciously for the truth that you speak. God and the heavenly angels will continue to protect you collective. No one has come coming for your head because of the truth that you've spoken. These people will be judged. And I'll call judgment on them now in Jesus name. They will not be doing that. Continue to speak your truth. If you saw something that wasn't right, or if you just spoke a truth, regardless if somebody liked it or not too freaking sad for them. No one has that kind of power over you. No one can go to another person and say, I want you to give me uh, this person's head on a charger and they can actually make that happen. No, the devil is a liar and there is no truth in him. But basically that's what this was. Somebody didn't want you speaking some type of truth concerning something. And so this person had some form of part to play in this in some way. You, you know how this flows for you. And if it doesn't fit, then it doesn't. It's for somebody else and that's whatever. Um, but now, you know, Holy Spirit, please clarify this six of wands. Jacob and Esau clarifying the six of wands. This person really wanted your birthright. Somebody wanted your birthright. And now it's just like, you are having this victory and the success. <clears throat> or this is somebody feeling like you stole their birthright. No, that's okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person feels like you have everything that they've always wanted. Everything that they've always wanted. Somehow, some way, shape, some shape, some form, you have everything that they've always wanted. And it could be something that you said, there could have been a plot against you that really kind of came in between this. But the truth is, it's like this person really wished that they could be in your shoes or they could, you know, I don't know. But it's like, this person feels like you keep so much to yourself and you have this foresight for your victories. And it's just like, you sit and you plan them and then you wait for it to come towards you. Yeah, this person feels like you've overcome self-doubt a long time ago. This level of courage that you have, this um, influence that you have, you're able to persuade people quietly. Like, you know your goals, you know who you are, you know not to hold back from yourself. You stand in a very non-aggressive energy in regards to like, you're very meek. Um regarding this victory that you have but this person feels like you've turned your back on everything else until this arrives and what you have done overall is has been such a quiet and non-aggressive influence for this person this has really made this person see things from a different way this is like giving them courage to see you being in such a tamed energy 
Um, in regards to them wanting to gift you something or wanting to make you laugh or be playful or silly, they want to heal this and they're just waiting on how to do this because they're really scared. This person feels fearful. Like this is like a mental overload for them to have to come towards you to recover this lost connection or to recover this because they don't really know how to really take this first step out. Like I said, you could be blocked or they feel like you're going to see them as someone that is directly opposing your destiny or something, but this person sees that you are having good karma. There's good things happening for you. And it's like, you have been really experiencing some blessed moments. They feel like you deserve the things that you have, your achievements and your rewards are, are great. This person feels like you seeing them in this rigid energy, this, if this mindset problem energy was the worst thing that really could have happened for them. The fall of Satan, they feel like that's because they did too much. They went too far. This is where this person feels like they're not able to turn this around the way that you view them or how you see them as being rebellious or, you know, being a liability, really. Like this person, just say really harsh, mean things. They just take really quick, harsh action or whatever. They always want to be in some type of headspace, not coming from their heart. This person feels like, you know, this was the worst thing that they could have done. This was their downfall and they want to put that to rest. They don't even want to raise up that energy. They want to draw towards them, you know, like they want to be confident in coming towards you. They want you to be confident and not wanting to stay away from them. They want you to be in this assured energy that it's safe to be around them, to be drawn towards them. It's safe for them to be drawn towards you. There's something good that can be expected out of it. Um, And I have success, hunger, and caution. This person being in this self-bound prison and feeling like this, it's all because of your success. They know that the longer they sit in this energy and there's, this is not corrected, the more this, this space within you will be filled with this success. This person feels like they were supposed to have this with you. They lost this inheritance. There's, you know, like in this connection, it will always be They'll always get some type of lighthearted, not lighthearted, but heavy hearted, very emotional rush of feelings about going in the wrong direction with this or handling this in the wrong way. This person feels like the level of success that is expected of you, this hunger and thirst after righteousness, it's like, you know how to go after the right things in life and you take your time with it. This person feels like they should have been more careful. They should have been more careful to avoid danger. They should have been more careful with how they spoke to you, how they handled you, how they wanted the connection to turn toxic. And it was divine how you see them now in this really really like locked up mind headspace um they cannot get out of their head because they feel like you know this this transformation that you've experienced you've transformed yourself your situation you want to end things with them you you know like this person feels like this was all an accident there should be nothing more than a reconciliation in this and it's like they've always felt like a reconciliation would be successful or that there would be good times with you or you know that like they want to be able to restore this you guys being friendly with one another They really want this courage. They feel like you've always, you know, like they knew a long time ago. They were told a long time ago who you were, who you're capable of being. And now it's like they cannot stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about the past. They can't stop thinking about like how good things used to be with you guys. And now they just they want to restore this. So that you guys can move forward together. This King of Wands. This is someone that's always had passion for you. They've always seen you in a certain light. They've always felt a certain way about you. You know, like they've always wanted to move towards you. There's always something that's been really special and that's drawn them to you. But they feel like they should have been more careful with this. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe, my loves. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.